Right, one final thing to finish this off is that we want our text box to display the distance between these two points. Now, do we want it to display the screen distance or do we want it to display the 3D distance? Let's go with the 3D distance. So let's be very specific about what we ask. Okay, so back in Muse, let's go down the bottom and we want to say, now add into this the setting of the text displayed in the UI text object to show the distance between the 3D objects. The distance calculated should be the 3D distance. Display this distance to two decimal places. Okay, so we're being very specific that we want it calculated in 3D space and we also want two decimal places in the answer. Right, so here's our code and I'm just having a look at whereabouts the text was set, which is inside of a position text box. You can see it just inside of here. Now, the text box we have used before to set the pivot points and everything. So just by adding in this method or updating this method here should be enough to get our code to work the way we want. Now, of course, if you're doing this and you're not sure which part of the code it's changed, you could ask Muse, you know, which part of the code has changed or show me just the changes. Otherwise, you could get the entire script again. All right, so let's go back into our script here and we'll just go into this bit of code and paste that in there and hit save and come over, press play and see our final product. Okay, so there you can see it's actually extended what we said or what I was actually after. I only wanted it to show you the digits, but it's sort of embellished it with um, some English text around that, which is okay, I guess. Uh, you can always remove that. But it's now nicely in the center and displaying it for you. Now, it looks like that text box has gone back to where it was before. It's not centered around the center. And I have a sneaky suspicion that Muse might have updated our code to take our calculation out that we had before. So if we have a look at this code, you can see there's the distance and it's taken out how it was calculating where that center bit was. Okay, so let's go back to Muse and let's get it to put that text box back where it was before reposition the location of the text box to be centered around the 2D distance between the spheres, e.g. halfway along the line, but have the distance calculated based on the 3D positions. Okay, let's see if we can get it to fix itself up with that. All right, so now here's the new code, position and set text box. We're calculating our 3D distance, but when we're positioning the text box, again, we're using the... Uh, converted 3D positions into our screen space 2D positions. So let's just copy that and we'll go back into our script. We're going to put that down here. This method is now called position and set text box. So let's copy that and put that here. I don't know why Muse would have changed that. It's not particularly helpful. So just keep an eye out when that sort of thing happens. Let's now save that and we'll go back into Unity and press 
play and hopefully now everything will be as we require it yeah okay that's much better so you can see that it's you know in the middle perfectly between these two values in screen space and it's giving us the distance between them okay so that's the end of this little worked example and you can see from that that it's not so straightforward to get Muse Chat to just give you the project code that you need to achieve something. But you do have to remember this is kind of beta version and it's new and it is kind of amazing what it can do right now. So just imagine what it's going to be able to do like in a year's time as it becomes more accurate and as it interacts more with humans and gathers more data about how we want to use it so persevere with it experiment with it don't think that it's a human that you're talking to it doesn't have any feelings so don't worry about asking it really hard questions or pushing it really hard um, abusing it is probably not going to work although I have read studies in which AI seems to perform a little bit better if you kind of threaten it which is a completely different other topic to go down. But if you are interested in that, I will put a link with the resources in this lecture to show you that particular study. Okay, right. Well, that's the end of this section and the end of the content for this course. Mm -hmm.